Hello, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the battery in a Dell Precision 5530 model laptop. Tools you're going to need, you need a very small hex head screwdriver. Um, a regular Phillips screwdriver is for a couple of screws. And then we use a little pry tool. You could use a flat head screwdriver uh, if you wanted to do the prying. But the biggest challenge is to find the right hex screw driver it's a very small one okay there are a couple of options for batteries in this model dell offers a 97 watt hour model 6 gtpy which is that long longer version or you can put in a smaller capacity ba uh, battery the 56 watt hour rrcgw and i'll put that information down in the trailer of this uh, video Either one will work, it's just that one takes up a little more room and has more capacity. These will run you anywhere from $40 to $70 uh, on eBay. This model comes with a cable built into the battery, so you don't have to replace the cable. You get a new cable with the new battery. So, uh, to get started, um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the laptop upside down. We need to take that bottom case off. It's got these real small um, hex screws on the bottom and two regular Phillips screws in the center under that drawer. Okay, so we're going to take these off. Again, the challenge you're going to have is finding the right size screwdriver. Real small, and these are very small screws. Be careful where you, in handling them. That they're, if you drop them, they're almost impossible to find. So keep your eye on them. Okay, we're going to go around the perimeter of the laptop and take out these very small hex head screws. Not sure why they use these small screws other than some engineer's brother owned the factory that made them. I don't know. It makes no sense to me, but they're very small. So just the worst part is dropping one. You can't find it. So continue on around. They're very, very, not too many turns to seat them. They're small screws. Okay. Now that you've got those done, there are two screws under that little door in the center. Flip that up, two regular Phillips screws there. They're fairly long specialty screw that locate the uh, assembly right in the center. Okay, now you use your pry tool and the, you just have to pry the bottom piece. It's got a few plastic tabs that are catching it, to, it together with the top. So if you start it on one side and work your way around and pull up, catch it in the center. I think I may not have totally unscrewed one of those screws in the center. Uh, we'll try and see if we can pry it up. Usually not quite this bad. Okay, must be one of the screws isn't totally uninstall there we go one of the screws is still caught okay once you get that bottom plate off now the battery is right there in front of you you can see this model had that long 97 watt hour battery in it uh, here as you can see there's a shorter version that only fills up that much of the cavity and then there's a longer version like this model had in it we're going to replace this with the another one of the long 97 watt hour versions the um, battery is held in with several screws you just have to make sure you get them all out the um, manufacturer of the battery actually has a little diagram on top of the battery that shows you see those little ones i'm pointing to it shows you right where the screw is you got to replace very nice of them. So you follow their little pattern around the battery. And you remove the screws. Now, I mentioned that this 
or two, oops, I missed one. I didn't follow my own advice. There's one more little arrow there. <laughs> Take that last screw out. Okay, now I mentioned this battery has a cable, but the cable is attached to the battery. So all you have to do is disconnect that connector from the motherboard. Uh, sometimes it pulls out. Other times I'm going to use a little tool. You just It's just pressed in there. There's no fasteners or anything. There you go. Now that cable is attached to the battery. So when you buy a new battery, you're going to get a new cable. So here's the new battery. has a cable. First thing you do is you slide that connector. Slide that connector right into the connector on the motherboard. You connect the two. So they just slide in, no fasteners. And then slip the battery into its compartment. Just like that. Now we're going to replace the screws that we just took out holding the old battery and reinstall this new battery. Again, the little diagram on the back of the battery that the battery manufacturer included is helpful in pointing right to where those screws go. A little arrow and it's a nice little touch. They probably didn't have to do, but they did. So we know exactly where the screws go to hold this battery in. Again, we're putting in the large 97 watt hour type 6 GTPY. You could have put a little smaller battery in there if you wanted to save a little money. But this is a nice battery. Whenever you're given the option, I always go with a higher watt hour battery because you're going to get more battery life. These lithium ion batteries are good for about three years. Okay, put the um, back cover on. Again, we have the two screws in the center. <coughs> Those two are with a Phillips screwdriver. <coughs> Excuse me. And we continue with these small screws. Again, they're very small, but just be careful you don't drop one. Sometimes can be a little tough to find. So we follow around the perimeter. Sometimes when I'm doing one of these battery installations, I will actually turn the laptop on before we put this back cover on, just to make sure the battery works and that the connector is on properly. Um, if, it, if you had a problem, that could save you having to reinstall this bottom cover. For demonstration purposes, I'm, gonna, I'm assembling this to show you how it goes back on. But not a bad idea to test it. Um, prior to uh, re reattaching the rear cover. As you can see, there's a lot of screws involved here. You hate to have to take these off and start all over again. And you won't hurt anything by powering it up with the bottom off. Just obviously don't sit it on any metal surface, but um, you'll be fine. Okay, we're getting close here. We're getting the last of these really small screws in. Again, your biggest challenge in this project is finding the right screwdriver. Okay. That's pretty much it. And you have now installed a new battery. Thanks for watching. This is Fred from the Laptop Barn. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel. Appreciate you stopping by. Have a good day.